Hey YouTube, this is Pokedad again, and uh, today I'm doing another deck analysis. We're going to be covering Raichu Bats with Shaman Draw Power. Uh, I used this deck, uh, or one very similar to it, for a League Challenge. I uh, did pretty good. I went 2-2 two and two and uh, made 6th place out of about 14. Um, I ran into Aegislash and uh had a hard time if i had won that match and i almost drawed it uh in even with the the problems i had but if i had won that or even drawn it uh i would have gotten much higher uh but anyway so let's uh, just get right into the deck and we'll talk about uh some of the st stuff that i'm tweaking based on my uh experience at the league challenge I do want to give props to Omnipoke. Uh, they do a lot of deck analysis, and this is really came from their idea. Uh, I do have a few minor tweaks, but it's mostly the same deck, so I want to give them credit where credit is due. Um, but anyway, Raichu, so he has the Circle Circuit attack, and this attack does 20 damage times the number of your benched Pokemon. Now, when we only had a bench of five, he could do 100, and then with damage enhancers, he could do about 130. But now, we have the Sky Field, which came out in Roaring Skies, and we now can have eight on our bench with this Stadium in play. Uh, so, if Raichu has eight on the bench, he now goes from just hitting 100 to 160, and if we throw in a damage modifier like a silver bangle, he can hit from 190 to EXs. Or a muscle band, he can hit 180 to anything. Uh, so he's pretty much one-shotting uh, your 170, 180 EXs uh, and anything below that uh, if you have a full bench. So, it's a, so that we play a lot of Pokemon in this deck because we need the 8 on the bench. Uh, but he one-shots EXs, but he doesn't one-shot Megas. So that's where the bats come in. So we have a 4-3-2 line of Zubat, Golbat, Crobat. Uh, now let me just first explain. I have two types of Zubat here. Uh, this one came in the Plasmas, and then this one is from Phantom Forces. Now, I just recently, I've only been in this about a year now, or not even quite a year, so I mostly have this Zubat, and I indeed played this Zubat at the League Challenge. Preferably, you would want to use this Zubat because it has the free flight ability, which allows you to retreat it for free. Um, however, Plasma is going to, Black and White is going to be rotating anyway, so uh, this, this Zubat's not going to be available much longer. And it's also a lot more expensive. Uh, so if you want to play with this Zubat, that's fine. As for me, in on online, I only ha I have two of the Plasma and two of the... Uh, I have more than two of the Phantom Forces, but so I play two of each. All right, but getting over to Golbat. So Golbat has a Sneaky Bite ability. So if you... Whenever you put him down, he hits any Pokemon uh, on your, of your opponents for two damage counters. So this helps immediately with certain Megas because if we hit 190 with Raichu and we do a sneaky bite we can now knock out Mega Manetric at 210 and Mega Gardevoir at uh, 210 also. If we take a sneaky bite and then add in another sneaky bite uh, we're hitting 230 uh, but if we hit a sneaky bite and a surprise bite, which comes from Crobat, which is the stage two, the evolution of Golbat, uh, then you put three more damage counters. So uh, two from Golbat and three from Crobat is 50. Add in 190, and now you're doing 240, which is going to take out uh, Mega Gallade, uh, both of your Aquazas and uh, both your Primal Kyogre and Primal Gout Groudon. So these guys come in handy. And also you can begin sniping these guys that are getting powered up on the bench. 
so that when they come to the active, Raichu's ready to knock them out. So uh, the bats just work very well with Raichu uh, as they start doing damage. Now one thing I will say is as you play this deck, uh, practice with it a lot and actually try to play with different types of opponents because it's the hardest thing about bats is knowing where to put the damage especially at the beginning and sometimes it's knowing to refrain from playing a bat uh, too early so uh, anyway but these guys combined with Raichu and our damage enhancers can help us knock out uh, Megas and the, the cool thing about Raichu is we're, we can win the um, prize exchange because it because he's he's only got 90 HP, but if he gets knocked out, and but then we knock out a mega, we've gone one for two. So, and that's the thing: the opponent's going to have to knock out probably three or four of our Raichus and our bats, and then maybe they'll try to take out Shaman at the end, uh, but. It makes it so that they have to take a lot of prizes, and we don't have to take as many. Now, let's while I mentioned Shaman, let's talk about Shaman. Uh, it's the big expensive card in Roaring Skies, but it just it really is so powerful. We play four of these. It uses the setup, which allows us to draw our hand draw until we have six cards in our hand. So the idea is you want to use Ultra Balls and play as many cards as you possibly can so that then you can play your Shaman down and draw more. And this actually becomes more of your draw support than the draw supporters do. Uh, so we play four of those and also Shaman helps us build our bench fast so that Raichu can start hitting hard. So that's why we play the Shaman. Another uh, partner we have is just one Execute. And this Execute will rotate uh, come next season. But until then, we, we have Propagation. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon's in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon into your hand. So it just helps a lot Like when, if they bump the stadium, uh, which they're going to they're gonna try to do because if they don't, you're just going to keep hitting them for, for 180, 190. And uh, the, if the opponent allows you to do that, then the game is going to be over very quickly. So what this allows us to do is we get him in the discard pile. We can put him on the bench. And then if they bump the stadium, we can always repropagate him back into our hand and put him back down once we've got another sky field ready to go. And so that's almost guaranteeing that you're going to have six on your bench by having him. Some people could even play two of these. I just chose to play one because I've got so many other Pokemon that I'm playing. Um, our final su support Pokemon is Jirachi EX. Stellar Guidance allows you to grab um, any supporter. At the beginning of the game, most likely you're going to grab a draw supporter, but it also can be helpful to draw teammates, which I'll talk about later why it's so important in this deck, and also um, uh, Lysander to Lysander up the opponent's. Uh, Pokemon that we want to knock out. So we have Jirachi, and that completes our Pokemon line. Let's move on to our uh, item cards. So we play two repeat balls, and believe me, if I had more room, I'd probably play more of these. Uh, but search your deck for a Pokemon with the same name that's in play, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So it's just really cool because if we have a Pikachu, we can play Repeat Ball and get another Pikachu. Um, and that just, again, helps us get our bench full and also helps us get Pikachus out quickly. Same thing with Zubat. We can play a Repeat Ball um, and then put another Zubat on the bench. Another cool thing is if we have two Zubats in play and then we evolve to Golbat doing the Sneaky Bite, then you can repeat ball for another gold bat and get another sneaky bite in so it's just a very versatile card very useful we play four super scoop up and actually I play a scoop up cyclone as my a specs and then three super scoop ups however um, I don't have a super a scoop up cyclone for the online so I'm just playing four super scoop ups 
Flip a coin if heads put one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand. So this helps us recycle bats so that we can get more and more bites. And then it also helps us to recycle Shaman so that we can pick Shaman up and then put it back down and get more cards. Uh, so that's very useful in all these situations. In very limited in instances you might <clears throat> scoop up Raichu if he's damaged and put him back down. But generally speaking, actually... I'll explain in just a little bit why we actually want Raichu to get knocked out. Uh, next is Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck and reveal a Trainer card that you find there. So it can help us find a Stadium or an Ultra Ball or a, any or a, even a Supporter. Very useful card there. Four Ultra Balls, just kind of standard, especially with the Shamans in the deck. Because they help you lower your hand count so that you can get more cards. And most of the time you can Ultra Ball away supporters that you don't need at the beginning. So teammates, Lysander, even if you have extra stadiums, you can uh, Ultra Ball them away. Also, don't be afraid to Ultra Ball a Raichu. Uh, every, you know, if you need to Ultra Ball a Raichu, that's okay because you've got you're playing four. Obviously, if we have Execute, it's great to Ultra Ball Execute away because you can always repropagate him. Um, so, but Ultra Ball helps us get Shaman and get whatever we need out. We also play 3 VS Seeker so that we can reuse our supporters that have already been in the discard pile. Uh, one Muscle Band and two Silver Bangles. I actually recommend that you play three Silver Bangles and no Muscle Band because you're pretty much going to be knocking out non EXs anyway without needing the damage enhancer. And this helps with um, the EXs. That extra 10 can sometimes come in handy. Uh, so I recommend using three Silver Bangles. That's what I did at the League Challenge. I just don't have three for uh, my online account. So we just play two and one. Um, moving on to the supporter line, we play two Colrus because we're putting so many. Uh, Pokemon on our bench, it just makes sense to play Colrus. Uh, you can <laughs> Colrus for 12, 13, 14 uh, because of the Skyfield, so it's really nice. Lysander, he just wins you games. It's very important to have him. Uh, so I, we play two of those. Now, Lysander's trump card is going to be banned in a, about a week or so, but until then, we're going to use it. So uh, this card really help. You really need this card in this deck because you fly through your deck so fast that you just need to get uh, your deck back as quick as possible. Sycamore, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Standard, we play four of those, and then we play two teammates. And teammates are very important in this deck. Uh, I don't normally play teammates, but in this deck it just works out perfect if someone knocks out your Raichu uh, you can go play teammates and grab the two cards you need so if you're playing against a, if you don't have the energy you can go grab the double colorless energy if you need a silver bangle grab a silver bangle if you have Pikachu on the bench but you don't have Raichu grab Raichu and if you need a gold bat to do 20 more uh, damage then get the gold bat so it works very well to set you up for the next turn. So we want to be, again, uh, if they knock us out, we want to come back and be able to knock them out immediately. And so the best way to do that is with teammates. And again, if we have a bat and a full bench and a Raichu with a silver bangle and a DCE, we can knock out Mega Manetric and Mega Gardevoir. And if we have uh, a Crobat, we can knock out the ones that are in the 220 range. So teammate helps, teammates help us get there. We play two of those in our deck. All right, uh, let's look at the stadiums. I already mentioned Skyfield. I play one Silent Lab, and this is the one thing that changes just simply because Aegis Slash EX is a thing. And when we only play double colorless, uh, we can't beat Aegis Slash with Raichu. Unless we have the Silent Lab in play, which will take his ability away. 
his ability, and I don't know it word for word, I don't have it, I could pull it up, but I don't have it right here in front of me, but it's something along the lines that any Pokemon that, atta that has special energy attached to it cannot damage uh, Aegislash EX. So, since Double Colorless Energy is special energy, Raichu cannot hurt Aegislash. So, we play the Silent Lab. Now, of course, when we do this, we can only have five on our bench. So, with a, with a Silver Bangle, we're only going to do 130, and we need to hit 170. So, the best thing to do is get some uh, Bat Bites on Aegislash first, so that he has 40 to 50 damage on him. Then, when he knocks you out, use a teammates to go grab the Silent Lab. Put the Silent Lab in play, get your Raichu up, and knock him out. That's the best way to deal with Aegislash. Now, we don't I didn't see a lot of metal decks at League Challenge, but I did run across a Manetric Aegislash where it just played Mega Manetric and Aegislash. And I almost won. It came down to time and we were about to draw. Uh but he ended up beating me on the last turn because I could not get my super scoop ups to hit heads. I had three of them and they all hit tails. And I would have scooped up my Raichu and he would not have been able to knock anything out with his Aegislash and we would have drawn. In the meantime, I had been hitting him with bites over and over and over again. Um, but then he AZ'd it <laughs> and I had to start all over. So uh, it was a very intense game, but in the end, he just barely beat me on the last turn. Uh, last thing to mention is just the double colorless energy. We play four of those, and those are the only energy. That's what we use for Raichu Circle Circuit. So it's very important that you do draw through your hand quickly, because if you don't, this can be a problem trying to find the double colorless energy. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. Hit like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think of the deck. Give me any other deck ideas that you want to see in the future, and we'll talk to you later.